Hello and welcome to part 7 of Dragon Fable. I'm very excited about this part because in this part we'll be exploring the Fire War, which is my favorite Orb Sega story of all of the 8 orbs. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. We're in Yulgar's shop in Falcon Reach. Well met, Dragon Lord. Feel free to browse the store. I make and sell a wide variety of weapons. My name is Yulgar and I run the weapon shop here in town. Behind me is my new apprentice, Colin. Whoa, a real adventurer. I am honored to make your acquaintance. I am learning how to make basic weapons now. Soon, my mage friend is going to teach me how to enchant them with fire. Talking about new weapons, I'm going to need a shipment picked up in two weeks if you are looking for work. Check back then. In the meantime, see if I have anything that might aid in your next quest. So we'll go to the Fire War. A fire war has swept over lands far to the east and it's getting closer. A plea for help. Dekia, Colin has gotten a disturbing letter and would like to speak with you. Dekia, please, you have to help me. I've gotten a letter from my family. Our town is under attack from a giant fire dragon. A fire dragon? I'll do what I can, Colin. I've been gone so long. If anything were to happen to them, I could never forgive myself. Please, you're a true hero. You've saved Falcon Reach so many times. Please go and defeat this dragon and save my family. Dekia, I'm glad you could come. We have a serious fight on our hands. Akriloth has come and is laying waste to farmlands here and we have to stop him. My blood brother, the Mento, has come to help. Akriloth has always been one of the most powerful fire dragons on lore. He's been rampaging over the entire continent for years, with many casualties left in his wake. Do not underestimate him, Dekia. Akriloth is now in the possession of the Fire Orb because of his deception of another adventurer much like you. If he's so powerful, how are we going to stop him? We're going to have to get close to Akriloth first, which means fight our way through his fiery minions. Good luck, Dekia. You're going to need it. Alright, fighting our way through the fiery minions. Naturally, we have elementized our dragon to the water element for this story. Haha! <laughs> I am Akriloth, the most powerful fire dragon this world has ever seen. With the fire orb in my possession, you have no hope of ever stopping me. I will burn this land to cinder and rule it with my army of fire. I will find a way to stop you. I have to. Summon dragon and fight. So the rumors of the dragon dogs were true. It is no matter though, for I am fire itself. No newborn dragon can come close to my power with the fire orb inside me. Okay. We can stun him. Apply damage over time, just do our regular stick. We dodge them all and then attack. Then we'll stun again. Then we will regenerate our MP, since it's going to be a long battle probably. And apply some minus two hit. Very good, so all blocked or missed. Then uh, we do apply another damage over time. Ooh, ooh, two big hits there. Pretty big damage on to us. So while Ekraloth is stunned, we should heal with our Siphon skill. Now the stun is going to wear off, so we have to defend. We have to regain some mana, otherwise uh, we're going to run out too soon. And then stun again. Apply a damage over time. 
Now we have a problem because we don't have any defensive skills and they are all cooling down. So I guess we'll just have to increase our resistance and hope that is enough to survive. Luckily it is. We also, also reduce their boost. Ah, it was not enough. You were unable to defeat Akroloth. Is there anything that can stop him? Aftermath. Akroloth remains undefeated and is free to wreak havoc on the land. Something must be done. <laughs> Remember this day, Dakia. I spare you only so you can watch as I burn this land to the ground. I... I failed. All these villagers. Conan's family. I... Akroloth is very powerful, Dekia. At least you survived, though. We'll regroup. Akroloth's pride will be his downfall. Fire has a counter. I'll head north, brother, and search for an ice weapon that can take that fiery menace down once and for all. Dekia! My family! How... I... Conan. I'm... I'm so sorry. There was nothing I could do. Akroloth. He has the fire orb. He was too powerful. No! No! Why... Why didn't I go when they needed me? You... You were supposed to save them! You've taken down necromancers, giant monsters. How could the dragon defeat you? You're supposed to be a hero! I... I tried, Conan. Akroloth is an ultra magma dragon. He's... He's insanely powerful. You failed. My family is dead. I don't want to hear your excuses. If you seek revenge, the best way is to fight fire. With fire! You could not save Conan's family from Akroloth, if the Mentor has gone and searched for an ice weapon that might be able to defeat her. Conan, though, has turned in another direction for revenge. North. Conan has been at work at the forge since you returned. He refuses to speak with anyone. We must defeat Akroloth, Dekia. The Mentor was planning on heading north. Would you like to speak with him? Dekia, Akroloth must be stopped. We'll go north and search the frozen wastes there. There is a clan of ice dragons as well as a rumor of something more ancient. Something that dwells in the glacial caves and collects the frozen remnants of battles long past. Will you go with me? Of course, Demento. I... Whatever I can do to help bring down that fire dragon. What or who are we searching for? Long ago, the elemental lords placed guardians on lords to protect their realms. It is said that one of the Ice Guardians became corrupted, greedy. Instead of protecting the area left to it, it incited battles, it stole treasures and weapons, including the Ice Scythe. Ice Scythe? The Ice Scythe was crafted from the coldest glacial ice, cut from the depths of a lost cavern and enchanted with a powerful special effect. I believe that if you hit Akroloth with the Ice Scythe just once, it will drain his power and transfer some of his strength to you. It should make the fight fair. But first, we need to find the Corrupted Guardian's lair. Oh, shiny! Okay, distracted enough. You mean I'm not supposed to go this way? Oh, you can go here.
Yeah, that's the right shiny spot. Here, look back here. Do you see them? See what? The caves, there on the mountainside. We'll camp tonight and explore the mountainside when we're rested. Demento? I thought all of Galanoth's family had been killed by Akraloth. I'm not Galanoth's brother by birth, Dekia. After Akraloth burned his family's farm to the ground, my family took him in. We became blood brothers shortly after that. I see. What happened to make you become blood brothers? <laughs> Gal was just five years old, but he was already fearless. I was ten and apparently looked like good prey. I was out gathering wood for camp and the weaver swooped down and grasped me in its claws. Weaverns would occasionally take smaller farm animals to feed their brood, but with Acroloth rampaging, I was much easier prey. The weaverns swooped down to carry me off and Galanoth ran. <laughs> it seemed like he jumped ten feet into the air. He grabbed hold of my legs and wouldn't let go. Our weight together was too much for the weaver and she dropped us back down. Gael saved me from becoming dragon food and I owe him my life. Anyways, it's time to gather our energy, Dekia. We have an ancient and corrupted guardian to face tomorrow. And we have to convince him to give us the only weapon strong enough to defeat Ekraloth. I... I can't believe they're gone. My whole family wiped out. I've been gone so long. It seems like I've spent years just standing around in Yoga's forge when I should have been home. If... if I had been home. You would have been incinerated as well, my young friend. I understand your pain. I lost someone due to the carelessness of someone who I thought was a friend. Just like you. Dekia. Dekia had to have tried. It's just... He's a hero. He has saved Falcon Reach, faced bandits and monsters. I've heard rumors that he even has a pet dragon. How could they lose so badly to this Akraloth? Ha! A hero? That hero and this pathetic band should have saved your family. They only look out for themselves, though. Galanoth only goes after the dragon. He could have saved your family. Dekia could have led them away. Instead, they were taken from you. My own love, Yanya was taken from me by that misfit mage, Warlick. Warlick? But, but he's good. That's what he wants you to think! But who's here now, offering to help train you so you can get your revenge? Warlick and this little minion Dekia, they even attacked me. They stole my book of power, called me evil. But why? Jealousy, Conan. Warlick caused the accident that took Yanya from me, and now he tries to steal my power so I can't get her back. They're only interested in their own power, not my... ours. You have the gift of magic too, Conan. I can show you how to bend fire to your will, how to enchant with it, how to make it live, how to make it die. No mere fire dragon will be able to defeat you. And once Akroloth is gone, you can go after the ones that caused your family to die. The ones that took my Yanya away from me. Dekia, Galanoth, Warlick. All of them. <laughs> you found the caves, but what dwells within? The Guardian. We must defeat Akroloth, Dekia. Bring back something from the frozen northlands that can take Akroloth down. Hmm. I stole of my treasure fair and square. You shall never take them from me. I am only here for the eyesight, so that we can defeat the fire dragon, Akraloth. Never! I do not care if the entire planet is destroyed. No one is ever going to take my treasures. I have spent my entire existence lying, cheating and stealing to get them. Innocent people are being hurt by Akraloth's rampage. You must give me the sight so that I can defeat him. You mean this? 
Never. You left the pride for my icy cold talents. As far as I'm concerned, you and the rest of the humans can all burn. Very well then, I challenge you to a duel for the ice scythe. <laughs> a puny human like you, this should be good. He is quite tough, I do remember that. But he has no immobility resistance, so that is going to go help us a long way. For now we can stun him for three turns just like that. And after that is gone, our dragon can stun him for one additional turn. Right, now we're at the end of our stun streak. But half of his health is already gone. The darkness shield is worn off, so we're going to go to our earth shield like we usually do. And by the time that shield is worn off, we'll have beaten him. If I cannot have the ice scythe... No one will! <sighs> Go kill your fire dragon with that. <laughs> I don't feel so good. Did I mention that I was keeping all of these treasures for my ice dragon master? He's going to be really mad at you. Took it. Just great. How are we going to defeat Ekroloth now? Wait, maybe Yulga can fix this. Yes, that's it. I'll take the broken eye side to him right away. Uh, Nineteen. <laughs> Twenty. Yes, use your anger. Let revenge fuel you. <laughs> No, I can't go any further. What? Come on, I only put 100 pounds on there. Oh, wait a sec. I know what you need. I... I will avenge my family. Much better. <laughs> Sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six! I... I... I'm getting more powerful! I can feel the power flowing through me! <laughs> That's it. Tame the fire. The world will crumble before you. <laughs> the ice scythe is shattered, but maybe Yilgo can forge something from the pieces. The weapon. You've returned! Dekia, Demento, you've returned! What did you find in the frozen north? Is there anything that can defeat Akroloth? We found the ice scythe, Yogar, but it's broken. Can you fix it? It's broken into too many shards for me to simply fix it, Dekia. But magic still permeates the fragments. I can forge something new, something stronger, a frozen claymore. With it we should be able to take down Aquiloth once and for all. Now, my young apprentice, it is time for your final test. You are fully imbued with the power of fire. <laughs> now it's time for you to use it. Take out anything incoming with a wave of flame. <laughs> oh man, oh. 56 is body count. 
You are ready, Colin, to exact your revenge. And become the tool of mine. The hero that chose to let your family die. The incompetent dragon slayer who let Ekro off rampage. The apathetic mage who did nothing. They will burn. After you exact your revenge on the puny denizens of Falcon Reach, we will roll across this land. We will find the adventurer who foolishly gave the fire orb to Akraloth. We will burn, purify, and flame this land and rule it all! <laughs> Rise, my apprentice. Rise, Draconon! You have your weapon to fight Akraloth, and Xan has his. East. I'm closing shop for now, Dekia. What's going on? Yogurt is packing up. What? Why? He's just leaving? He's going to make our weapons, train blacksmiths. Colin has just disappeared. Now Yogurt is leaving too? Everyone. Everyone, please just calm down. With Akraloth rampaging and fire monsters attacking towns all over lore, I have a responsibility. I need to take the remaining shards of the ice guard and get weapons in hands of as many heroes as I can. I'm going east. But Jogger, we need you here. What are we going to do without you? What about Arya? Who's going to get new adventurers their weapons? Arya is going to stay with Grams for now. As for weapons and blacksmithing, I don't know. Colin is gone, I don't know where, and I have no other apprentice who can manage the shop. Maybe I can help. Here we go. I have a couple extra orbs laying around. One can manage your shop for you. Oh, thank you, Cicero. The frozen claymore is done. When it comes time to face Akraloth, you will be ready. Be on the lookout for attacks and head off the fire monsters before they overrun the west as well. Good luck, my friends. The fire war is spreading. Yogur is going east and waves of fire monsters move west. Akraloth. You have the frozen claymore and Akraloth awaits. Good luck, Dekia. You again? Didn't you learn last time, hero? I told you, you would watch this world burn. No, dragon. I've had enough. You've destroyed towns, killed families. And I'm going to end this now. Foolish human, this time you burn. Oh man, this is quite cool. Melt face mode, we're not going to be able to do at level 21, but maybe we can do extreme mode. Yeah. The frozen claymore has a profound effect on Aqualove's power, which is the special effect of this temporary weapon that we have here. We can see... Oh. We'll, we'll, we will see in a bit. Let's check Akraloth. Because of its effect of the frozen claymore, Akraloth now has minus 250 minus resistance to ice. Um, he has quite a lot of immobility though, so we'll just attack, I think. Um, yeah, and then we'll defend. Because of his high immobility, we're not going to try and uh, put all of our chips on being able to stun him. Let's see then, a critical hit. He heals by his warmth and he steals most of our mana. This is a very strange battle mechanic which I'm not very familiar nor comfortable with. But we'll just have to do the best we can. What I did do though was uh, push us over the limit of to level 21 off screen. So 
so that I could unlock our final Dragon Lord skill, which I will demonstrate now, Dragon Heart. With which we do a lot of damage. It looks like we're doing quite alright. Luckily Ekerloff doesn't do that much damage. I still can't figure out how his battle mechanic works. Of course I've elementalized Bakuya's element to ice because because of the ice kite, I mean floating claymore that's going on now. That was very strange. As I was saying, because the Frozen Claymore has added such a minus resistance to ice to Aquiloth. Because of that you want your dragon to have the element of ice as well. We can barely use any of our skills at the moment now though, because of one of Aquiloth's effects. But it does not seem that much of a problem, because our normal attack does 250 damage because of the Frozen Claymore. And Ekroloth does so little damage that we have barely any need actually to defend. It's hard to believe that this is an extreme battle. But perhaps I'm speaking too soon. Again with this special effect from the Ice Scythe, uh, I mean Frozen Claymore, let's see. It adds another min minus 100 to ice. It's very nice. Nice. <laughs> no pun intended. Let's do, see what the critical hit can do. 521 damage, man! Man, I really thought this fight was going to be difficult on extreme, but I guess not. We got him! It is finally over. Really, really over. I've saved these lands from the greatest monster of all time. I only wish... I only wish that there was some cool theme music to mark this incredible victory. Like a... Da da da... Or perhaps a... Do da do... Da 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 da... Do da do... Dee 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 da 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 do... Or something. The important thing is that we were victorious. History was made here, today, on this very ground. And they have a really cool sword now too. But now that Ekvaloth is gone. What is next? Do you know what you have just done, human? Phew, I was worried things were going to get boring here for a moment. Wait, my eyebrows are gone, aren't they? This is so embarrassing. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, who are you? I'm Neferia, an elemental spirit of fire. Read my name tag next time. Thou hast slain Ekroloth, the most powerful fire creature in this world. Are you aware of the consequences of thy action? Obviously this will require some role-playing. <clears throat> my lady spirit, Ekroloth was a dragon of evil. He was defeated fairly in battle to protect the innocent. That may be true, but slaying him has caused a great imbalance in elemental power. Human, this may be difficult for you to understand, but this world is a battleground for the great elemental beings. By slaying Ekroloth, you have put all fire beings in grave peril. Are you trying to say by killing Ekroloth that I have endangered all fire beings in the world? Yes. Then why did you not just say that in the first place? Do not anger me, human! This discussion is really getting heated. Nefaria, what can I do to reset the balance? In my hand is a fire dragon egg. It is about to hatch. When it hatches in a few moments, it will be the only great fire dragon left in this world. Does this mean I get to kill two dragons in one day? Oh my god, oh my god. No, it needs to be raised. Raise it? You want me to raise another baby dragon? I can hardly clean up after this one. <sighs> it is Aquilos' only son. Take him to Lady Celestia so he can be raised properly and bring the elemental realms back into balance. 
The realm of fire is very fragile right now, and without him the minions of fire could coalesce into someone worse than Akraloth. A giant pile of dragon guts. Ooh. Well... <laughs> Get out of here! A few days later. Dekia! Ash? Dekia! Yeah, I'm good! Just give me a <gasps> sec. Dekia! Come quick! Wait, what happened to your eyebrows? Don't ask. Okay, whatever, just look! You've gotten word from Yelgar! Dear friends, I've made my way east. The fire elementals and minions roam the countryside and attack without provocation. There are bands of adventurers that fight the good fight and battle on, though. I found a crossroad between several towns and set up a small fort to help supply them with the weapons they need to fight. I saw an explosion to the west a few days ago and the fire attacks seemed to quell, but now the fire monsters have begun their attacks anew and fight even more fiercely. I fear they found someone or something new to fight for already. Please, friends, heroes, if Akroloth is truly gone and Falconreach is safe, come east and help defeat these monsters. Battle on, Yogur. So, I guess we go east. Road trip, I call Shotgun. Shotgun? What's that? I have no idea. <laughs> the end. Or is it? The beginning.